guys, it's Coach Jennifer, and today we are going to be doing level two gymnastics. I have Emily helping me, and Leah, and Olivia in the back. So first we're just going to start off with stretching. So everybody's going to start in a big straddle. Everybody getting a big straddle, pointed toes, make sure your knees are facing up toward the ceiling, and we're going to stretch over your butt. So now you want to make sure that you're reaching over the top, over your ears. Your back is straight so that you get a nice stretch out your side and through your legs. Make sure you're rotating your feet backwards so that your little toes are not going forward and touching the floor. And switch. Now, this is where it's really important that you push your little toes back toward the floor. Everybody go forward, middle. And you really want to work on that turnout. And your turnout is going to help you with your leaps and your jumps. So you want to make sure that you're not turning those big toes to the floor. It is better to keep your legs straight and your toes facing up than to go all the way down. And pipe. Nice straight legs. Make sure you push the back of your knees into the floor and point your toes. If you can't reach past your toes, then just go ahead and grab the top of your feet or your ankles. And then we're going to flex our feet and pull your heels off the floor. Same thing. Make sure you keep your legs nice and straight. Back 
and shake it back. All right, now we're gonna do our split. So everybody's gonna go up on their knees. And Emily, can I have you come out right here for me? Yeah, I'm gonna do the face the wall. So everybody's gonna go down on your knees. You're gonna put one foot out in front. You're gonna make sure you have one hand on each side of your leg and you're gonna go forward into your splits. Make sure that your back is nice and straight. You keep your back knee tucked under and the top of your foot on the floor in the back and point your toe in the front. Now remember guys, if you're doing your splits, you don't wanna be sitting on your bum. So you wanna to try to stay on top just like that. Very nice, Olivia. And then we're going to do arms up for three. Hold. One, two, three. Good. And bring those legs together. Shake them out. Now we're going to do the other leg. Everybody up on your knees. Put your other leg out in front. Make sure your back knee stays tucked under. Back foot. And slide forward into your split. Now, if you can't go all the way down, it's a little bit harder to get your shoulders back. So you can still stay leaning forward. Just make sure you stay squared, which is keeping that back knee tucked under and keeping your belly button facing forward to whatever wall is in front of you. And bring those legs together, shake them out. Good 
job. Very nice. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Good job. And run over that. And the same thing with the rebounds. You can do those in place, just standing there and do 10 of them. Okay? All right. The next thing we are going to do, split jumps. Okay? So we're going to do some split jumps. For those of you that don't know what a split jump is, And now we're going to go ahead and get started with our workout. So the first thing we're going to start off with is our forward rolls. So everybody, you want to make sure that you have your heels and toes together and that your knees stay together as well. Okay, ready? And make sure you're stretching up tall out of your forward rolls. Arms up, good. Try to keep your feet together, Ms. Olivia. Feet together. Start feet together, Sue. Toes together, heels together. And then bend and roll. Good job. And go ahead and walk back, ladies. your toes 
at the top. Coming down and landing back in your lunge. Arms at your ears. because they 
always have to stop shaking. Okay, now that I clean, good job. Keep that back knee tucked under. Back knee facing the floor, just like you do in your splits. A leap or a split jump is the splits in the air. And then bring it on back, ladies. And go ahead and bridge up. 
Now, make sure that whatever you are using to kick over with, that you have something supporting it on the other side so it doesn't slip out from underneath you. And then go ahead and you. And you just kick over just like that. Now, the higher it is, the easier it's going to be. So if your daughter or son is having trouble kicking over from a lower mat or stair, whatever it is that you use, <laughs> then just try to build it up a little bit higher so that it's easier for them to get over. Okay? All right, the next thing we're going to do is feet. So if you're at home, you can get some tape or whatever it is or a string or anything that you can just put in front of you to stand on. So I have Emily over here. She's going to... And then Lee, you can go ahead and sit on that one with the Velcro. And what you want to do is just make the tape your beam, basically. So, so you don't need a whole lot of it. You can take Let's 
Let me see your needles. Good. One more time, Leah, make sure you point that back foot. Everybody make sure you point your feet. It's very important. Okay. All right, and your dismount. Very nice. That is probably the best one. And that one. <laughs> All right. And then your last thing is your jumps. Make sure you remember puzzle feet, arms at your ears, and keeping your bottoms tucked under when you land.